Hello everyone, uh, I'd like to give you a demo on how to create a character in Foundry for the Pathfinder 2 system. So for the example I'm going to do, I'm going to do Ezrin, which is one of the Iconics, and the specifically the level 5 version because I think it's a little bit more interesting. So um, go ahead and download the Iconic from the Paizo website and we'll just be entering it in here. So the first thing I like to do is to go through this character sheet on the first page, uh, type in his name. His name's Ezrin. He's level five. Uh, his alignment is neutral good. He is a human skilled wizard. His background is merchant. Gender's male. Um, this is undefined here. Um, so the first hard part here is an ancestry HP. You just want to look it up. He's a human, so he gets eight starting hit points. For the class, he's a wizard, so wizards get six hit points per level. Speed's 25, he's medium, his key ability is intelligence, he doesn't have any special speeds, he doesn't have any special senses. Uh, he does speak a lot of languages though, so he's got common, draconic, dwarven, halfling, undercommon, and verissian. Uh, and then at the bottom, finally, he's got his ability scores. So it's 10, 16, 16, 19, 14, and 10. On the left side of the character sheet, we can start filling that out. So his hit points, uh, this is automatically calculated. He's got 53. Um, when we add his armor, we'll get this input. His perception, he is trained. His class DC is trained, and he's trained in fort saves, and expert in reflex, and expert in will saves, um, and nothing special here. We can skip over this actions tab. Uh, this will be filled in later. Next, I like to go to the skills page. So for each of these, uh, you can just click the red box, and it'll cycle through master or legendary. If you right click, it'll go backward the other way. So just quickly enter this in, trained, expert, trained, trained, expert, trained in nature, trained here, trained in religion, an expert in society, trained in stealth, trained in survival. Uh, and I, we, we skipped over lore, so those go down here in the lore section because they're more freeform. You can just type in, he's got mercantile lore here and uh, he's trained in that. I also like to add other lore and then leave this untrained so then if you click here, it'll roll um, your un untrained here. So finally, he's got his armor. He is trained in unarmored. Uh, and finally, he's trained in armed. And he also has a couple here that he is trained in club, crossbow, dagger, and staff. So you can just put this here as trained. Um, the only downside effect of that is you have to go um, when we add the weapons in. Uh, actually, let me show you here. You go to the um, inventory. He's got the weapons he has are staff. So what you do here is you open the companion browser and you just drag it into the character sheet. And that's how you add weapons. He's also got clothing, uh, explorer's clothing. And this is his armor, so you'll need to check this. So you notice he's got 20 AC, um, just for having this in his character sheet. Um, he's also got this equipped. And this is a club so you need to make it a club here and that'll give it proficiency in it so now that he has a plus seven which is uh, he's level five so five plus two plus zero strength so if you actually roll that out that'll say in the chat log strength plus zero train plus seven so since we're on the equipment page let's just go through and fill this all out he's got a material component pouch He's got a hand of the mage. Uh, 
and then he's got it looks like an adventurer's pack just drag that in and it'll automatically populate it out and then he's got a writing set that goes in there and then finally he's got some potions some mist form elixir that goes in one of his belt pouches and a elixir of life and that is a lesser one that can go in there too and then he's got some wands so these you're going to have to do yourself um, but you can just drag them in it's a magic missile and a mage armor so you just type in here this is a magic missile and that this one is mage armor so we'll have to add the spells in in a later time because this is just the text description here that uh, how, how wands work so with the inventory done you can go to the spell book I like to go to the feats next so the feats is a similar thing you can click this checkbox or this magnifying glass here it'll open the same browser with feats so if we just go through in order he's got a cooperative nature natural ambition natural skill skilled heritage because he's a skilled human so he's got reach spell widen spell and there's a sorcerer version so you can select the wizard version counter spell and he's a prepared wizard hand of the apprentice so He is a universalist and he has arcane bond and arcane thesis with met meta magical experimentation. Finally, his skill feats he's got bargain hunter, courtly graces, and arcane sense. And then his last general feat is uh, Ancestral Paragon. And it looks like this is the one for natural ambition. So finally, the last tab is the Spellbook tab. So it's going to be very similar. So we want to put his uh, prepared. He's a prepared caster, so Arcane prepared. So he is trained and his spell modifier is intelligence so the way this works is you don't want to hit add spell it seems like that's what you want to do but you want to hit here open the same spell browser so this is his prepared spell list so he's got detect magic so you want to drag it into this region here where the spell book is it's a little easier once it's bigger it's got acid splash and I'll enter the rest in and fast forward All right, now that you've done that, you can enter in the spells he does have. So he has seven cantrips and then drag up the one he's preparing today. So if you're just going off the character sheet, the ones he's got prepared are Detect Magic, Acid Splash, Electric Arc, Light, Shield, Mage Hand, and Ray of Frost. Now just continue on for the other ones. So now that that's done, you need to say how many first level spells he's got. He's got three. So the three he has prepared are Burning Hands, Magic Missiles, and True Strike. And then um, this is getting un unwieldy here. So you can click these little book here, which will collapse the um, Prepare spells. So 
So let's go ahead and do the second level spells and third level spells. And then now that that's done, he has three second level spells and two first level spells. Sorry, third level spells. And the one he has prepared are Acid Arrow, Dispel Magic, Mirror Image, Fireball, and Haste, which I miss. And then if we want to be tidy, we can collapse these books. And one more thing, he has a focus spell, so we could put that in here, but it makes more sense. We have the capability to go ahead and put the focus spells here to go ahead and create that. Uh, he has one focus spell. And the spell that he's got is Hand of the Apprentice. So drag that in, make sure it goes in this little region here. And finally, he's got those two wands. So go ahead and these wands here. Oh, and in case you forgot, make sure you're strained in that. So he's got the right spell DC. So the two wands he's got are Magic Missile. Let's go ahead and drag that in there. And then Mage Armor. And this is a prepared spell, so you can drag him anywhere. So then Magic Missile and Mage Armor go here. Now that your character sheet is complete, the way to use it is to if you want to make attacks, you can attack with your weapon, strike here, roll damage, and keep in mind it's going to um, know all the information that it needs about that. If you want to cast spells, so um, if there's a horde of goblins, you can just go ahead and cast fireball, either expand this out, and you can click the damage here, or if you click the um, dice here, it'll put the spell card to the chat, it'll tell you that you need to roll a DC 21 basic reflex save, and then you can roll damage here, and it'll actually roll the appropriate number of dice. Um, and then suppose, for instance, that he was level seven, and you had a fourth level spell, and then you wanted to drag it at fourth level, you can actually upcast this, and it'll roll the appropriate 8d6 here. One other comment is that if you've got plus one weapons, what you might want to do is make this a plus one striking staff. So just update the name. And then we have a place to put in here that the uh, weapon runes here are potency plus one striking. So then now if you roll this weapon on the experimental strikes, uh, you'll see that it's got a plus one here. So the item bonus of plus one, so nine from trained. And then when you roll a damage for that, it will roll 2d4 instead of 1d4. So there you have it. That's how to use the Pathfinder 2 character sheet. Thanks for watching.